Thanks for wasting our time with that <laughs> horrible, horrible <laughs> game. Bye. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> right? It's a good game. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Board and Scale Podcast, Battle of the Games. Board and Scale's first ever snake video. Another vendor spotlight. At the penguins, the only one with any character. What you're likely to hatch when you mix certain genetics. You know I don't play right, 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 right. All right, guys, let's start the show. Uh... Welcome, everybody. To the Board and Scale Podcast. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get let's get a little applause for the crowd. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for being here. Um, as always, you have actually you have all of us here, which is not technically always. But we're all here today. <laughs> Kevin, Sibo, Kens. Go ahead. You said. Duaneal? And Duaneal. <laughs> yeah. All right. Not Thanks, you guys, for being here. We have uh, a few things lined up today. And actually, we're going to start with a little crowd game that we set up to interact with you guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and start first on that side. I will explain the game really quickly. Uh, but basically, where he is going to be giving out, or each of us will be giving out hints for a certain game. And every time a new hint is given, you have the opportunity to guess the game. If you are correct, you can choose a bracelet or a holographic version of this sticker, which I just forgot to bring. But we do have I was them. Say, hey, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, but that's all. That's really much, pretty much the only rules of the game. And it's one guess per person per game. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> careful with them. So if you if you, so you are not sure with the hints that you're given, maybe hold off for the next hint. Don't um, shoot your shot too early. Yeah. And if no one guesses them, we will reveal the game <laughs> after each of us gets a guess. So yeah, we'll start with Dwayne. What so is your first? Uh, hold on. As soon oh. as you know, raise your hand. I'll catch the first person, and we'll go in order, and Make we'll let run. you say your guess into the microphone. Make yeah. him run around. The first hint to my first game is. The weight is rated 4.3 on BGG. Oh, that's a tough one. That's really 4. hard. 4.3? They 4. do start 3. really hard. Don't worry, guys. Exactly. They all start like you this. Start you start you start know, broad. Yeah, very start broad, broad, yeah. That's very, very build broad. It. Any guesses? 4.33? I'm trying to think. Yeah. Anyone have a point? Four? That's a really specific. Sounds like a <laughs> look. Sounds, four, like four, a four, sounds like a Never mind. I'll give it a clues away. All right. Next, I, next I think one? You want to take a guess? What? Nope. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Next, Next hint. hint. The cover art features a blueprint. Okay. Blueprint. Uh, just a blueprint. Just a, uh, like a a blueprint. Architectural, an architectural blueprint? Yeah. Well, yeah. He's not supposed to answer that. Okay, yeah. yeah sure. Just a blueprint. Just I mean, a blueprint. I think it's understood that it's It could be of anything. Architecture. A blueprint. Yeah. About 4.33 with a blueprint. I don't Ready know. How are you guys one? feeling about that one? It's too tough, I think. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Even Google's going to say, what are you asking me for? I have an All idea, right. but... I feel like... Okay, the theme of the game, you work in a factory. Okay. Factory? Is that a, is that, was, it, oh, was that a hand ready to guess? Nope. Oh, just <laughs> itching. Okay, I was like, all right. Factory, okay. blueprint. You work in a and factory. And it's hard. You work in a factory. Hmm. A blueprint hmm. on the box. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> Do you, you know, know what it is? Yeah, of course I know exactly what it is. Come on. <laughs> get your game together. Okay. Well, I guess Kevin's going to be the one to guess it at the end. Next hint. It is a worker placement game. All right. Uh, Here's the guess. Number one guess. Kanban EV. Yes, sir. It is Kanban EV. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go ahead and uh, pick one. There's a few there's different a few ones different up here. Ones. There's they, nerd, yeah, come gamer, on up. nerd, gamer, board and scale. There's a, a couple board and scale ones. All there's right. A purple one. Congratulations to the first winner. Look at what you. What blueprint? All right, Ken's. 
It's the, the blueprint, blueprint of the, the car. cars. It's a blueprint. Yeah, it's a blueprint. <laughs> have you guys played? Ha, has I mean, any, that makes have sense. you guys There's played Kanban? Have any of y'all played Kanban EV? Oh my god! <laughs> <That's why laughs> there you go. Okay. Play it. Such a great game. It does not look like a blueprint to me, but okay. We'll move Wonderful on. game. We'll move on to Kenzie's. All right, Kenz, what you got for us? Hide a little bit. Okay, my first clue is it was released in 2011. The original game was released in 2011. Mm, Old I game. have an idea. Older game for the older gamers, mm. like him. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? Three, two, one. This is why we need the, we needed the Jeopardy sound. I told you. Yeah, well, I didn't want to get copyright claims on <laughs> Anyway, anyway. Um, one of the main co- mechanics is tile placement. Derek already knows what this is. <laughs> I don't think anyone knew that one, baby. Fine. I already... Oh, oh, oh. You have a guess? You got a guess? You got a guess? What's the guess? It's your one guess. It's your one guess. No. No. Not, not Carcassonne. It's not Carcassonne, unfortunately. Fun I fact, think that's even older than 2011. I've never played Carcassonne. <laughs> I have never played Carcassonne. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. You are loved, and we appreciate your, your yeah, participation. Thanks, thanks for being here. All right, what's the next hand? I was told I was the one. It wasn't supposed to be mean. (laughs) I didn't do anything. Anyway, there are multiple versions of this game that have been released. Okay. Uh Guess. Azul? No. No, but that's a good one, though. That That was a really good guess, actually. Wow. I think that's a little bit newer. Um, Not the the original? Okay, the fourth one. This is kind of specific to the description. Um... In this game, you are building a princedom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Castles of Burgundy. It is Castles it of is. Burgundy. <laughs> wow, the correct so, guess. I just want to say this last clue because it completely gives it away. That's kind of the point, right? It was right? upgraded by Awakened Realms in 2019. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, my they might have been taken. We only made a few of them. Uh, yeah, that might be it for the board and scale ones. My fifth clue was it was designed by Vitella Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I it would I have don't some know if, I don't know if I would have gotten it a factory. All right, Sibo. Okay, it is now my turn. And unfortunately, mine is going to be too hard, I think. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, don't worry, brother. I think mine Way are going to gonna be pretty up. rough, Way too. To set it up. No, 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 no. It's just very obscure. The new meanie. No, I'm the giving too meanie. many hints. Change um, that real quick. Okay, so first hint. <laughs> first hint is that is it is a politically based game. That's it. Any based? takers? Okay, that's too. that's too broad. Okay, it was published by GMT Games. Oh. If you're a fan of GMT Games, <laughs> you may or may not know what their <laughs> shtick is. Um, okay. Next hint, it was designed by Gene Billingsley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wanted, to, I wanted it to be unique and a challenge, and it, I think it's a little... Yeah. I think I know what it is, though. Okay. I have an idea. Yeah. It is primarily a solo game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't have an idea. Is there more to that? Yes, the last hint... It is based on specifically American politics. Anybody? <laughs> you, oh my okay. Uh, Any? It's like presidential something or other. So close. 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 Mr. President. The American Mr. Presidency President. 2001 through 2022 for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's the entire title. You I would have, have just, never even I would have played just this taken, game. What in the world? I would have world? just taken you Mr. You have never played this I game. I would have just taken Mr. President. I would have taken <laughs> it. That's fine. Hey, Mr. President. That All right. Insane. Hey, uh, <laughs> help, help me keep watch for hands because I'm sure they're going to come shooting up real fast. All right. So first question. It's a two-player game. Okay. Probably too broad. That's fair. All right. <laughs> That's also not a question, by the way. No. It, you, it's a statement about the game. Yeah. You said first question. Oh, it's a first statement. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Doctor over here. Not, All right. Not in English, apparently. Uh, this two-player game was released in 2014. It is a re-implement 
of another game oh and God. has been re-implemented several times. Okay. Two-player, 2014, and it's been re-implemented several times. Oh, but that was 2014? Maybe I don't know it. 2014? We weren't even gamers back then. No. I just it was, didn't know you. Yeah, that's crazy. Designed by Ignacy Chajevic, or uh, Chevychek? I'm sure that's Ignacy exactly how it's pronounced. Chevychek. That Ignacy. is exactly how it's pronounced. I did look it up. About I looked it up. <laughs> You're complaining about mine. I looked this up. I was like, if I have to say this guy's name publicly, I'm going to try to get it right. It's Chevychek. He's Polish. Nope. No idea. Does anyone even know who that is? Ah, okay, wow. All right, no <laughs> Polish fans. Yes. All right. Okay, so unlike its grittier cousin, this game allows you to control one pause, of these factions. Pause, pause, pause. Jewel just walked into the panel. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks for being here, Jewel. You're late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right. right. Sorry, go ahead. As I was saying, unlike its grittier cousin, this game allows you to control one of these factions, the Romans, Barbarians, Egyptians, or Japanese. Hmm. I'll throw out some other bonuses. The other <laughs> game that is a re or re-implements it with a reskin is 51st State. That was worse. You threw me <laughs> way <laughs> off with that one. All the hints were bad, and that you just took me way out of the game. Ah. Uh, wow. Okay. Well. Oh my God. Oh, we have a guess. Got a guess. Well, technically, this <laughs> one, the one I'm talking about was the 2014 was original. 51st State was re-implemented in 2016, but then it was also re-implemented to a same game of a similar title a couple years later. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Let us, let us know what it is. The game is Imperial Settlers. Thanks for wasting our time with that horrible, <laughs> horrible game. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what? Right? It's a good game. I, I think. I've never played it, but, you know. <laughs> the, the Mr. President, she's saying? Yeah. <laughs> all right. You just well, want an eight-hour eight uh, Maybe know, we headache. won't let me do any more of mine, because... <laughs> all right, Dwayne, you want to do one more? Yeah, I'll do one more. I got one that's... At least someone can get his. Some people have played, actually. <laughs> okay. So, number one, it's a fantasy game. Okay. 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 Number two, it has two, count them, two expansions. Fantasy game with two expansions. Third. I might have an idea. Here we go. This might be a, this might be a, has a campaign game associated with it. A campaign game associated. It has a campaign game. Fantasy, fantasy game, with two, expansions two expansions with a campaign. Yeah. Or We're it really is a dice drafting game. I feel it over there. Is I it? feel it. All right, take us home. Take us home, Dwayne. Fifth and final. Oh, wait. Oh. oh. Not no. so clever. No. no. <laughs> All right, last clue. Last clue. It is inspired by tabletop role-playing games. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. All right, I don't feel oh. so bad about my clues this time. I'm a ding-dong. I know what this is. <laughs> I technically, I go first. Oh, oh, oh. oh. we have a guess? We get, no, no, go for it. Go for it. You got it? You got it. No. No. Da not, not dice, dice throw. Not dice right. <laughs> Was that what you were going to guess, Derek? That is, that's Dice Throne. Oh, that's <laughs> Dice Throne. <laughs> Tournament one? Got a different one? <laughs> is it Too Many Bones? Is no. it Too Many Bones? No. It is not. All right. Do is I think it's time to put us out of our no. misery? No, 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 I have no, it. I have no. it. I have it. I have it. I have it. I think I know Do it. you really? It's role player. Dang. It is role player. Yes. yes. It is role player adventures. All right. Well, adventures is a campaign yeah. game. I've never heard of it. It's probably a lot. Oh, there you go. <laughs> So so, did you just couldn't get the name? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay we'll, we'll go with that. I'm yeah. sure it was in there. It was in there. 
It was cooking. All right. Well, that was totally great and not a failure of a game. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone got all the games that we did. We're rewriting history. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Sorry that we are great at this. All right. So I guess it's time to move on to some of our highlights for the year. And I think we'll, again, we'll start with Dwayne over there on the end. Me? You. Me. Actually, really quick. Right. So if you, if you don't watch the show, we have this thing um, where... Basically, the beginning of every episode is a highlight of what we played the week before or basically the, since the last time we got together. Um, so we specifically are doing our highlight for the entire year for this year. So go ahead. My highlight of the year was playing Kanban EV. Mm. Oh, weird. Mm -hmm. Really? Weird. Is that the game or your experience? That's the game. The game. The game for this year for me has been Kanban EV. <laughs> Wonderful game. I love that game so much. It is probably the game that has climbed my rankings the fastest. Worker placement yeah. game, you work in a car factory, you're trying to uh, build cars, um, and it's and a really, com it's pretty complicated game. <laughs> how are but you forgetting about Sandra? Hmm? Sandra? Yeah, how are you forgetting about Sandra? She's like a key component. Oh, <laughs> Sandra is a... Beep. Non-player character <laughs> Meeple who will go down the track with the players and evaluate your training in every area. She's and if you're not very trained in that area, you will lose points. Yeah, and that's why um, we say Sandra is a... <laughs> 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 and uh, I mean, I feel like that makes it even better because I have such a strong hatred towards this small wooden piece. <laughs> I've seen that. Apparently, Sandra makes an appearance in another game. I forgot. Oh, the new Speakeasy one. There's a. a oh my oh goodness. Yeah. Sandra um, makes an appearance there. She traveled back to the past, I guess. Uh, to, uh, dang. Nice. At least that's what I. What well, now I, I want to play seen. it. Okay. But yeah, that's Only my 2024 game highlight. $120 on Kickstarter. <laughs> that's reasonable. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, we want to do like game and then experience. Yeah, sure. We can do right. uh, everyone's games with your and game. Experience. Okay. Yeah. My game is Weather Machine. Wow. So I've actually only played it, I think, twice. You played it three times. Two times? Three. Three? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we did play it again after. Um, so the first time I played it, it just kind of clicked for me and did not for anybody else, and everybody else hated it. It still has not clicked for me. We've played it two more times <laughs> after that, and I still don't get it. But it's just one of those games where there's so much going on. But it's also like you have to make sure you're doing things and you're planning things out and you have the right way forward. And that's kind of how my brain works with games. So it just fits me really, really well. And it was just it was fun to play. And I got to play it at FlingCon with Aubrey. And we were holding up the library and we were way late. And Yeah, they kept saying, you have five seconds to return <laughs> the game <laughs> while they're still in the middle of playing it. You know, We were like halfway there. through at that point. Yeah, We finished it. We finished it. But... Uh, that's probably That's my game highlight. Super assertive. That's awesome. And we're going to go three for three because <laughs> my highlight is actually another Lacerda game called Inventions. Inventions. Yep. yep. I knew that was coming. The Evolution of Ideas. Um, Dwayne taught us that game a while back. And same as Kenzie, turn two, it clicked for me. And I was like, this game is awesome. And I'm planning nine moves ahead. And as long as no one is, is trying to get me, let me explain the game first. That doesn't happen often. He's <laughs> not a planner. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, but basically, you are an inventor, and you're presenting ideas to different councils around the world and sending scientists around to the different parts to make sure that work gets done. And there's something about it that just... It, the theme of it really does pull me in. And I do feel like I discovered fire. And then, and then 20 minutes later... I discovered computers or rocket science or something, you know, or invented, really. But, yeah, and that's my game. So we're going to go four for four. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. We did not plan this. Wait, what? The guess? No, no one you has guys, seen this. Yay or nay? No. Is his going to be different from any of the three? That We've Ooh. had three different ones. Kanban. I know what it's going to be. Weather machine. Oh. What, what do, do you, you think? think? I've got it written down, so I've got proof. Different, 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 different. What other one what do have you, you played? If it's if if it's different, I'm saying on Mars. 
I'm going to no, be surprised. No, no, you tell me what you think. You, what do you think? That's what he's saying. Yeah, no, on no, Mars. No, I don't. He think different. Yeah, I'm not telling you different or same. You tell me what you think it is just straight up. That's on Mars? He said on Mars. Yeah, you're wrong. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It is the same. It is Kanban. Oh. oh. Wow. Wow. It is, it is also Kanban. Um, I, we did play on Mars. That's the only other one we played. That's what I was going to say. That's yeah. why I was really confused. Any of the other ones. I really want to play Venus, but uh, we don't know what owns that one yet. So, and I'm not willing to spend $120. Do they have it here? Oh, that sounds like homework. Vital. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Lacerda, <laughs> we obviously love your games. I mean, I've never been tempted to spend eleven hundred dollars on seven games before, but the list. It was really tempting when they announced that bundle. Tempted. If we well, didn't own available. three of them already, it's still available. That's the problem: is you have to not have them already for it to Which be. Which I don't. Yeah. So. So. Yeah. That's. Great. I don't need to talk about it because he already did. It's a great game. That's Love true. it. Look at that. And Kevin has no differing opinions. Everything nope. that Dwayne said is Same. what Kevin's saying. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Now, the experience of the year for you, Duaneo. The experience of the year. We're getting sappy, boys. Oh, no. And girl, joining Board and Scale. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just do that again? <laughs> that was last year. No, it wasn't. Was it last year? Yeah. Well, it was I mean, November it was within a calendar. Year. It was within 365 days of today. <laughs> it was not in I'll take it because calendar year 24. Me. We'll I'll take it. it. Yeah, we'll We're take taking it. it. <laughs> yeah, joining Board and Scale. Uh... I remember. I I remember meeting Sebastian. Are you gonna tell the awkward story? At Black <laughs> Potion, and our first ever game that we played together was Brass Birmingham. So we played that, and I was like, "Man, this guy's cool. He's he's pretty dope." And then wow. the next week, we played Blood on the Clock Tower, and after that game, he comes up to me. You want to be a part of our podcast? <laughs> 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 and, and I was like, "Oh." Yeah, <laughs> that sounds fun. And so, yeah, and then the rest is history. And then I met Kenzie. I had already known Kevin before that. So, yeah, joining Board and Scale. That's my... Uh, Sebastian came home after that first night and was like, babe, I met this guy. And I was like, just go for it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> and here we are now. That's oh. my experience. Sappy. Wonderful. All right. For me, it also coincides with another game that I really enjoyed, but um, it was playing Rococo, actually. Oh. And we, it was our first time ever streaming a game, which was super interesting, just in itself. But um, our girls had just started school, so we got to play during the day. And it was, I like that game. And I think just the game and the experience and everything that was coming was, yeah. was a lot of fun. And Mine is not as sappy as Dwayne's, but... That is our first gameplay video on the channel, so yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It was a really cool experience, and I really like that game. You're just making dresses, fighting people for the most points. I guess that's every game, but... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fun. My experience, we're going to go back to FlingCon, um, and it's going to be the game of Tapestry that I played with Derek, and was Aubrey in that game? Yes. And Aubrey and Duaneo, and we had one more. Enrique? No. Was it Enrique? Yeah. And it was a full five-player game with all the expansions in it. And I finally got to... I haven't gotten to play that game at five. I don't think ever. I think that was the first time. And so to play a full game at five players in, a, in like the cool setting that is a convention, like it was just really cool. And Derek ended up with a crazy civilization. He had basically <laughs> conquered three different civilizations. To You won, right? Yeah, he ended up winning the game. Didn't even care. I had a great time seeing everyone. My favorite thing for a game I like is seeing everyone that I'm playing with enjoy it. And that was a time where I could tell everyone was having fun. And it just felt really good. So, yeah, that's my, my favorite experience of the year. Nice. Uh, for me, it's uh, all the different times I got to share games with people who are close to me, friends, family, and whatnot, especially my nibblings. I got two nieces and a nephew. Uh, being able to share games with them, um, expose them to board gaming and the hobby, to see them take to it, and you know sometimes you take out a game and they're like they don't gravitate towards it. Turns out my my nephew who likes dragons had no interest in Flamecraft, which was like oh man the cute, <laughs> the cute dragon game, the cute dragon game. He had no interest in it. I was like man that's yeah that was rough. But turns out they really liked habitats, so that was really cool. So. 
just those types of experiences, being able to go home and, and play with them and expose them to new stuff uh, every time that they, uh, you know, and they're like, oh, hey, we want to go buy this one or whatever. It's really fun. So it's always special. All right. That was really cute. That was really heartfelt, everybody. I we felt really good about that. We started with a heartfelt, that. ended with a heartfelt. Yeah, it's and good, now we're going to go into angry and frust <laughs> anger and frustration. <laughs> um, and we're going to do some, some, maybe some hot, maybe some spicy takes. And we're each going to take a turn and say something that may, may not be exactly the most popular gaming opinion. And then after we're finished, we're going to ask you guys with we some of your hot takes. love to hear mm. some of your hot takes. Get them so. stewing. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. All right, Daniel, what's yours? My hot take is, if you know me, you already know this. I hate cooperative games. Yes! yes! Thank you! <laughs> I'm not alone in this world. <laughs> now, of course, there are exceptions to the rule, <laughs> but for the most part, I do not like cooperative games. I will play them for the first time, most likely not going to like uh, like them. I am selfish, and I want to beat you. I don't want to beat the game. I want to add on to that. Thank you. If I have a choice of a co-op game or nothing, I probably would just do nothing. <laughs> it's a wild opinion. I'm going to make you both play a co-op game later. <laughs> and then it's you. just like... <sighs> You're gonna love it. it. Every time I play a co-op game, I mean, it could it's it could just be my fault too. I just it dissolves into me just taking a turn, and not like that's most. What games. are you gonna What are you gonna do? Hey, what'd you think what of are, Primal? What, what are you gonna do? What am I? Huh? What'd you think of Primal? Primal is one of the exceptions. It'd be to the really rule. funny if you said Primal also sucks. <laughs> 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 but yeah, all in all, that is my hot take. Not a fan of cooperative games. I need new friends. <laughs> Taking like applications games. for Kevin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Kenzie? You can come too, Kenzie. I don't know if you like them or not. All you have to know. do is not Depends steal mine, okay? Depends on the day. Mine is very obvious for me. I've said this multiple times on the channel. Um, games that are pokey towards other players absolutely suck. Yeah. Every single one. A any kind of direct conflict game. Yep. You hate it. I hate it. Yeah, so the classics like Kemet and is Rising Sun a classic? Okay, I wouldn't Rising call it a Sun classic, was not but horrible. It but can like be pokey. Any game where you have a choice either. to directly like target someone. to target specific players, and it feels much like like a choice rather than like, hey, like you're my neighbor, so I have to. Or like if you're playing like Seven Wonders or whatever, where you're like, well, it's the person on my left, my right. I don't really have a choice. But if it's a game like Rising Sun, where it's like. I am specifically targeting you, and I want to kill all your people or whatever. Or right? dominant species. And that's a whole nother story. Don't talk yeah. about dominant species like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game, and if you guys want to play with me, I I'll play with game. you. <laughs> 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 all right. Good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, mine, and this is, I feel like this can be hit or miss. Online plays don't count. Ugh. Nope. I, when people post on Instagram, I played 1,000 games this month. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. You're on the computer and you clicked around, you know, fine. You're you're playing the game. It's to me it feels like you're basically playing a video game. You're not sitting at a table with like people, you're just doing your turn and then like waiting almost on a computer to do the other turns. So to me, online plays don't count. Okay. I'm going to change mine at l in the last minute because this one, because uh, we played a game last night, Celestia, and it was unopened. Oh and my. it reminded me oh. of how much this, this whole new craze annoys me. It has the potential to be okay, but they're, they need to do better. So it's the eco friendly packaging development part of gaming, right? Here's the thing spiritually, right? Like, awesome. I like the idea of being like eco friendly and not having a tons of plastic waste in your games and everything. But you have to produce a game that isn't absolute garbage, right? If I have to peel the stickers really off of your box and the board comes off, the, st uh, the, the material comes off, that is so frustrating, right? When you're, the components inside are held together in like cheap cardboard, like whatever, right? It's just, it's frustrating. I've had multiple games come now from like Kickstarter, GameFound, different crowdfunding sources. Even games I bought from directly from publishers and whatnot that have come with damaged boxes, um, seems completely split, 
Um, like I said, the stickers thing where you pull the stickers off and the stickers destroy the boxes. It's absolutely frustrating. And there are ways to do it. Um, Endeavor Deep Sea just, just shipped and delivered and theirs is an eco-friendly game and it was packaged and presented in a way there were none of those problems. It was really well done. Obviously, it probably cost them more money and us, the, 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 you know, the recipient of the game, more, but it was at least, a, like, I didn't have to compromise what I got out of the game, right, the quality of the game that I received for this. So it's this weird space where, like, yeah, I want, I'd love it to be more accessible and more possible for the eco-friendly stuff, but until they get to the point where, like, I don't have to pay the price as the consumer, not interested. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I, right. I, agree, I agree with you about only really the stickers are what bothered me because yeah. it's like it's like glue stick adhesive. So. Yeah. Well, and they sit like if there if there is no shrink wrap on it, right, that box is sitting with a bunch of other boxes in a shipping container somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. Getting right? touched by the humidity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like you can't tell me that that's good for it. there's a reason why they come with like the, the seams on the boxes are split. You know, it's not an accident. Well, luckily, I, I haven't had that. That was no. I'd be upset. Yeah. All right. Now, do you guys have any any hot takes that you'd like to share? Would you like to share? I'll come up with the microphone. This is a safe space. It's okay. This yeah. is a safe we, space. We're not gonna we're not yeah. gonna hold any grudges. A Just a little. The only your only repercussion right. will be uh, the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So not to totally. Well, yeah, I'm jumping on co-ops. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh. The other reason oh, down. why I have a hard time with co-ops isn't really too much because I want to be the only one to win, which is very nice to, to not share the <laughs> win, right? Uh, you want to yeah, win. Sure. But the other reason is because I enjoy playing games with people that I've just met, right? And you're at a table with six people. You don't know these people, so you might be a little nicer than you normally are to people. But there's always that one person who knows best how to play your turn. Uh, yeah, Ew. the quarterback, quarterbacking, yep. And so I end up sitting there not really playing at all. I'm just a fixture because somebody else knows better how to play my, my character on the game board. And yeah, I know, I, I probably won't pick the best way to play, but I'd like to fail on my own. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. So that's my own, that's my other beef about co-op. I'm done. <laughs> I think that's totally fair. I think Poop alpha gaming, co-ops. like <laughs> being an alpha board gamer is, is something that's problematic. As a person who is prone to that behavior, I get it. Um, but I do think that they're also getting better about making co-op games that make that more and more and more difficult. So like one player can't just dominate. It's like maybe you have private information or just there's too much going on, right, for the other players to really like tell you. There might be like, hey, this is broadly what we're going to try to do. But, but yeah, there's still a lot out there where it's like you can't play Pandemic and not have a grand arch like strategy to like accomplish the game. And if somebody's just going off and doing their own thing, it's like, well, okay. You know what? In the real world, in a pandemic, maybe his phone lost signal, okay? And he's just <laughs> got to figure it out on his own. <laughs> you know, he's a rookie. He's only been working at the at the emergency center for a year and a half, and boom, communication's gone. He's got to figure it out. That, okay, <laughs> quarterbacks not allowed. Yeah, I agree. I agree. No. No, you know what? Just no co-ops. So yeah. as someone also prone to quarterbacking, I will say, in my defense, I do it in a lot of other games, too, that are not co-op <laughs> games. Whereas if someone's doing something and I'm like, uh, this could help you more, I can't, like, hold that back. So I think that's why nobody plays co-op games with me <laughs> is because I'm definitely one of those people yeah. that's like, hey, or you could do this. I think that's the I this think that's an aspect of being a teacher though, right? Like if you want people to understand and enjoy a game cuz like if it's a complicated game like you know, Dwayne and I used to have very differing opinions on this once upon a time. I think you've changed a little bit, but like he if changed. it's a complicated game and I can see that somebody's struggling with the decision space and they don't necessarily know why they're doing something, it's really easy to be like, "Hey, so like with the information that I have for you right now, you could probably do like this thing, this thing or this thing." These are the reasons why you might do those things. Pick whatever you want. It really doesn't matter, you know, but this is why you might try to do those things. A little bit of teaching to help them understand and kind of grok, like, what the game is trying to get them to do. And that's, again, I don't think that's quarterbacking. That's just being like, hey, you have no idea what's going on. Here's the lay of the land. Choose whatever you want, right? See, it drives me insane when people don't do the yeah. best thing if for you ever play a game She's with a Kenzie, little bit more. If you ever play a game with Kenzie, she is playing every player's board. <laughs> 
at the same time. I just time. want you to win. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, that, and so she can take credit when she loses. <laughs> yeah. Yep. We have Some people like it. Some people hate we have, it. We have an eyewitness for Kenzie's, for Kenzie's uh, helping everyone else win. <laughs> All right. Any other hot takes? We've got one over there. Since, uh, since we're talking about co-op games, <laughs> let's go. Um, right. Keep the hate train rolling. <laughs> not, not, not only am I a fan of co-op games. Oh. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> but, but for me. For me, it's not going to be a great co-op game unless you just get your ass kicked. Like <laughs> it has to be. You hard. only win like ten percent of the time. Just. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. That's my hot take. I do That's agree. Good one. I do agree. I will say, Dwayne did say that. Oh, about Spirit Island, that you what? did not win and you oh, still didn't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Spirit Island, I I don't I hate it. I don't like it. Because it was on one of the it was it's one of those games where it's like it will beat you down, and it beat us down, <laughs> and I had no care in the world to try again. <laughs> well, that's a game too where the amount of player interaction, like no one else can control what's in your hand and make those decisions for you, and they can try to like, but there is so much information that it's difficult for another player to play your hand for you. But at the same time, that game requires so much interaction to be like, hey. I really need you to play this symbol because if you don't, I can't do this. And if I can't do this, then this will happen and that will happen. So you can kind of get into that, like, how do I weave this web? Um, but it's also easy enough to just be like, hey, can you play this? Do you have the ability to? And it won't totally screw up your turn? Yeah. I, okay, yeah, you can. Cool. All right, that, I can <laughs> do this. And they're like, oh, nope, I can't. Then you got to figure something else out. So you can navigate your way around it. They'll never give it another chance. I don't know why. It's okay. We'll S play our competitive into games the void. together. <laughs> yeah. Ke it's funny because Kevin does have a lot of co-op games and was like, well, I have friends to play with now and none of us like them. So <laughs> <laughs> taking applications. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, does anyone else have a hot take before we move on? Jewel? Yeah. Not necessarily a hot take, more like a pet peeve, but I think every single game should have some component to who is the starting player. <laughs> if it's just random, that's lame. Make up a component. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's oldest player goes first, youngest player goes first, tallest player goes first. If it, especially if like it has a theme. You know, if it's space themed, animal For themed. Sure. Last person to saw, see a dog. It can even, be, it can even be fake. Anything. Last person, Literally just anything. Yeah. The, the last person to go to space, right? Like, make it up. Literally, make it up. Ark Nova is who starts randomly. Yeah. Last person to go to a zoo. Like, come <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. See an animal, something. For sure. Oh, flip a coin, dude. I don't know. So, don't make it random. This, this is why we love Dwayne, by the way. His passion. <laughs> <laughs> just pours out of him, you know? But you it. know what? Hey, we got a cool thing called Schwazi, so I guess that's cool. That's fine. There's What game was it that specifically said use Schwazi? Oh, I don't remember, but we have seen one game that says decide randomly or use Schwazi. Wow. Definitely a modern, definitely a more modern game for sure. And they must, I, I feel like if we ever designed a game, I'd throw that in there. Yeah. I even, the, even the fun ones that don't make sense. It's like, like Cafe Barras is one that I saw. It's, it's, Whoever can balance an orange on their snout for the longest. It's like, nobody's going to do so that. Easy. But, <laughs> hey, you, you give me a laugh. It was something. Just something. Just don't make it, just don't, don't make it random. <laughs> Let me, give me something. <laughs> All right, Dwayne. Do not stop talking because it is now your turn to talk about what you are excited for. For, 20, for 2025. 25. What I am excited for, for 2025. What I am, a, what I am excited for. Um, there's one game that's been on my mind, and it's close. January, Critter Kitchen. Ah. Oh. Yeah. It is from the same people who made Flamecraft, and I adore Flamecraft. And it looks like 
it's it works kind of the same, but it's 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 cute animals slash monsters going out to stores, buying ingredients, coming back to their kitchen and chefing it up, making food. The art is amazing. The components look super cool. The like the inserts are really dope because like it's one of those where each player has their own like component tray so you just pull it out set it up and it just looks awesome it's getting here january of 2025 and i can't wait to play it burger time <laughs> i like that name a lot burger time it is not a co-op right? no, no. <laughs> i'd be so disappointed in you if you're like well let me give it a chance no no chances <laughs> yeah. i remember when you backed that he messaged us in our oh, group yeah. chat he and was said, like, guys, yeah. look at this game. <laughs> of course, fits him. <laughs> if you've ever played with Dwayne, animal games are his thing, but we were not surprised. Yeah. No, Critter Kitchen. That is, my fav that is my excitement game. What's yours? I'm taking it. So, every year, this is kind of a cheat because I'm going to talk about 2024, um, but we go every year, so it'll be 2025 as well. Um, but every single year, there's one game convention that we go to religiously, um, and that is PAX Unplugged. So we have gone since, what, 2018? Mm -hmm. um, we missed one year because of COVID, but it's not only is it just a huge convention with a lot of games and a lot of like playing area, it's also the place where I get to see all of my friends that are not local to me. Mm -hmm. So I am so excited to just go and hug all of my friends and play games with them and introduce my friends to new friends and it just, it's just a little cozy place where you get to just go play games and be happy. And I'm really, really excited. Yeah. There's also, it's in the Philadelphia Convention Center. I don't know if you guys have been, but there's also a specific, what's it called? Is it sushi place? There's a specific restaurant there that we, we go every time because it's like a four, four oh, or five. Oh, 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 oh. It's like a four. It's a ramen place. Yeah, ramen. That's what it is. It's like four blocks away. And it's just like something that every time Pax is coming around, I'm like, ooh, the ramen place. <laughs> yeah. Food to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. All right. So Pax Unplugged is yours then. Yep. Go mm -hmm. ahead. When, when we go to Pax Unplugged, I'm going to make a confession. I ate a Philly cheesesteak for every meal, every day. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do you want to hear our confession? Here's the question, we though. Do you get different one. ones? Do you get, like, the Hot Wheels yeah, we... ones and, like, all the creative ones, or are you just, like, straight up, like, classic? When I go order it and they ask me what I want, I say, I tell whoever's cooking it, what do you get whenever yeah. you yeah. make yeah. it for yourself? That's a, that's a good way to do it, though, because you're still getting, like, a, a different, unique experience. You know, that's cool. Hell yeah. We have been there every year and have yet to have a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> yeah, we have not had a single we one. We get, it's what, loaded hot dogs? Oh, yeah. We there's get, there's one like stand there in the market, that the Reading Market, that sells loaded hot dogs. Yeah, they're, or like, they're corn dogs. They're corn, they're corn dogs, dogs, and they're like sweet potato breading, and you mm. can get like a kielbasa sausage or like chicken sausage. But uh, yes. Whoa. Whoa. I have the palate of a Whoa. five year old for sure. <laughs> Whoa. Why are we hating on corn dogs? <laughs> I love a corn dog. No. They're not child sized. <laughs> corn dog every time. <laughs> hey, it's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Get that Philly. What's fi uh, yeah? What's Philly cheesesteak time? Really, it's it's three a.m. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's three a.m. somewhere. It's lunchtime you know? somewhere. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, um, I had it in the forefront of my mind, and now it's Ooh. oh, now it's gone. What I'm excited for for next year. So for those of you who don't know, the whole board and scale thing is because we've meshed our hobbies together of playing board games and Smash. and we own fifty snakes. So my thing I'm excited for for next year is we have finally bred them and hatched babies. So we have baby snakes that we're going to be able to take to the next reptile show and start vending there. Um, so I'm really excited to get that part of our little organization started. Mm -hmm. The scale part. The scale part, yeah. Scaly friends. It was just bored and for a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's mine. Yeah, so mine is uh, fiscal year 25. 
I guess okay. over the 20. It's, it's, okay. it's December. It's December, the, f the first two weeks of December. But uh, I'm getting an opportunity to go to the U.S. Army's War Game Design course. That is um, cool. So, yeah. So it's in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Army War College. And it's basically two weeks where they... Uh, they go through like the history of wargaming, go through wargaming theory and design concepts and stuff. And the capstone is that you have to design your own wargame. Um, so I'm really excited to spend two weeks geeking out. Apparently, a lot of the uh, you the design two weeks, the next GMT game. Yeah, apparently a lot <laughs> of the two weeks is just playing games because the comes like the people who come to the course come from a lot of different backgrounds and they don't necessarily haven't played a lot of games. So they use just a, games to introduce people to concepts and stuff. Um, so there are days, days like, oh, you're going to play Concordia, and you're going to play Root, and you're going to play this, and you're going to play that. So so what I'm hearing, this is a tax taxpayer-funded, military-only okay. board game convention. <laughs> another, that's a Kevin DOD answer. DOD civilian. DOD civilian. That is a Kevin also, answer. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Ugh. Did you say D&D &D civilians? D&D &D civilians, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Woo! <laughs> yeah, yes. IRL NPCs. <laughs> okay. Thank you. It's very Kevin. It is very, very Kevin. Kevin. Faction? Oh, this is Army. 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 Yep. We got to start calling them faction instead we of We should factions. start calling them <laughs> factions, dude. That's, That's sick. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, forget branches. What are we, treat? We're ants? No. <laughs> All right. Well, um, that's pretty much it for our topics. Do you guys have any questions? For Common us, concerns. maybe questioning our sanity for <laughs> why we own 50 snakes, you know, anything. Nope, no, just, no, it's us just us two. Yep. If nothing else, then that's uh, that's going to be it for the show. So before everybody goes, we're going to do raffle. the raffle. Yeah, if you raffle don't have time. a ticket, let us know. We have our helper. We have our helper. Dar, do you want to introduce yourself? Oh. Do you want to say thanks Ooh. for... Dar, do you want to oh. just say... Always <laughs> <laughs> from Virginia. Okay. Uh, that handsome fellow awesome. over there. All right, cool. I'll pick the number. <laughs> I swear I won't look. It'll be random. All right. You want to read it out? All right. The last number on the ticket is eight. Oh, what's the second to Are last number? The whole that, number. Is that it? Well, it all starts like the first four oh, numbers. Oh, zero six zero 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 eight. Yep. All right. Winner. We have our winner. All right. So. <laughs> you've got the you've got the bundle of merch. You've you've got never the hat, been to the potion State bottle, Fair, sticker, bracelet. Dogs are. Um, yeah, and just real quick, thanks everybody for coming out to the you know to our panel and and interacting with us. It was great. So thanks. Bye everybody. Thank Until you. Bye. Thank you.